Imagine a cat inside a box, simultaneously dead and alive. Sounds bizarre, right? This is the essence of Schrodinger's cat, a thought experiment that introduces us to the strange world of quantum mechanics. Schrodinger's feline friend is in a state of quantum superposition, meaning it's both dead and alive at the same time. It's only when we peek inside the box when we observe that the cat's true state is revealed. So in the quantum world, things can be in two places at once until we decide to look. In our everyday world, the classical physics rules. Things are either here or there, alive or dead. But quantum mechanics, it's a whole different ballgame. You see, classical physics is deterministic. It's like a well-behaved child, predictable and consistent. If you know the initial state of a system and the laws governing it, you can predict its future with certainty. Quantum mechanics, on the other hand, is like the wild, rebellious teenager of the physics world. It's probabilistic, meaning we can't predict exact outcomes, but only probabilities. And here's where superposition comes in. Contrary to our everyday logic, it allows particles to exist in multiple states at once, like Schrodinger's cat, both alive and dead until measured. This is a game changer. It's as if reality itself is in a superposition of all possible states until we look at it. Quantum mechanics, with its superposition, challenges our understanding of reality itself. You might wonder if this quantum weirdness has any practical use. Well, indeed it does. One of the most exciting real-world applications of quantum superposition is in the field of quantum computing. This is a technology that has the potential to revolutionize our world. In a classical computer, the fundamental units of information are bits, which can be either zero or one. Quantum computers, on the other hand, use quantum bits or qubits. Thanks to the magic of superposition, a qubit can be in a state of zero, one, or both at the same time. This means that a quantum computer can process a vast number of possibilities all at once. It can perform complex calculations at a speed that would leave even the fastest classical computer in the dust. Quantum superposition is also crucial in quantum cryptography, which uses the principles of quantum mechanics to create unbreakable codes. It's being used in the development of highly sensitive quantum sensors and even quantum teleportation, where information can be transferred instantly from one place to another without traveling through the intervening space. So, while the concept of superposition can seem mind-boggling, it's more than just a curiosity. It's a principle that's being harnessed to drive innovation in fields as diverse as computing, cryptography, and sensing. Quantum superposition, as strange as it may seem, is paving the way for technological advancements we could only dream of. Now, here's where things get really interesting. What if I told you that our very act of observation could affect reality? This is not a plot twist from a sci-fi blockbuster, but a fundamental principle of quantum mechanics known as the observer effect. In the quantum realm, things exist in a state of flux or superposition, where they can be in multiple states at the same time. But here's the kicker. The moment we try to measure or observe these quantum systems, they collapse from this superposition into a single state. It's as if by merely looking, we force the universe to make a choice. This mind-boggling concept is akin to the Schrodinger's cat thought experiment we discussed earlier. The cat, remember, is both alive and dead until we open the box. Our act of opening the box or observing forces the cat into one of the two states, alive or dead. But if you thought this was the end of the quantum weirdness, hold on to your hats. Recent experiments have suggested the existence of multiple realities. These experiments, based on a quantum version of a classic physics experiment called the Wigner's Friend scenario, propose that two observers can witness two contradictory realities. Imagine observing a coin toss. You see heads, but I see tails. In the classical world, one of us is wrong. But in the quantum world, both realities can coexist. This challenges our understanding of an objective reality and opens up a whole new can of quantum worms. So if different observers can have different realities, what does that mean for our understanding of reality itself? Can there be a definitive reality? Or is reality subjective, depending on who's observing? These are not just philosophical musings, but real questions that scientists are grappling with in their quest to understand the universe. Quantum mechanics suggests that our reality might not be as objective as we like to think. Quantum superposition and multiple realities bring us face to face with some profound philosophical questions. As we delve deeper into the quantum realm, we're forced to confront concepts that challenge our traditional understanding of reality. Consider this. If a quantum particle can exist in multiple states simultaneously, what does that say about the nature of existence itself? Does it suggest that reality is fluid, probabilistic, 
and subject to change depending on how, when, and by whom it is observed. This concept shakes the very foundations of classical metaphysics, which posit a fixed and objective reality. Further, the probabilistic nature of quantum mechanics puts a spotlight on the limits of human knowledge. In the classical world, we can predict the trajectory of a thrown ball with near-perfect accuracy. But in the quantum world, we can only predict probabilities. This fundamental uncertainty leads us to question, how much can we truly know about the universe and our place within it? Now let's take this concept a notch higher. Imagine that every quantum event, with all its possible outcomes, actually does occur, but in separate, distinct realities. This is the multiverse theory, an idea that sits at the fascinating intersection of science and philosophy. The multiverse theory suggests that every possible outcome of a quantum event exists in its own separate universe. For instance, in one universe, Schrodinger's cat might be alive. In another, it might be dead. This theory expands the realm of possibilities to an unimaginable scale, proposing an infinite number of parallel universes, each with its own unique version of reality. The philosophical implications of this are mind-boggling. If every choice, every event, every quantum fluctuation spawns a new universe, then everything that could happen does happen, somewhere. This casts a whole new light on concepts of fate, destiny, and personal choice. In the quantum world, every possible outcome exists in its own separate reality, giving us an infinite number of parallel universes. Welcome to the multiverse.